Now, Dr. Graham Melrose and his grandson made a nearly 4,000 kilometer journey to Sydney to show us one tiny vial. He says the liquid inside, known as Recce 327, is the answer to a growing problem. We have found that it kills all germs. Uh, it continues to kill germs. Uh, it does not produce the superbug and it kills superbugs. Melrose says the key to his antibiotic is that it's synthetic or man-made instead of the traditional naturally occurring antibiotic usually grown from bacteria. If you uh, picture uh, an antibiotic, it occurs naturally. Uh, it's surrounded by germs and the only germs that are going to be alive here are resistant germs, superbugs. But Jock Hartness, who heads the microbiology department at Sydney St. Vincent's Hospital, is skeptical. I don't think it matters if it's synthetic or not. If it's a, if it's a uh, mechanism for preventing the bacteria from multiplying, um, well, it'll wipe those bacteria out. But a lot of them have innate resistance. Superbugs or antibiotic resistant bacteria are becoming an increasing concern for hospitals around the world. Would that be considered a superbug? Yes. Doctors say there are several strains of superbugs in most countries, including Australia, which are becoming increasingly difficult to treat. It's all about the survival of the bacteria. You present it with an antibiotic, it'll either kill it, or if it doesn't, then the, anti then the bug will try and become resistant. Doctors say the problem is that bacteria is highly resilient, and the more it's exposed to antibiotics, the higher the chance it will find ways to survive. It's widely estimated that about 40% of all hospital patients are given antibiotics. One health expert we spoke with says he believes at least half of those patients are prescribed antibiotics unnecessarily. Doctors feel it's their right to prescribe, and they're trying to do the best for their particular patients. But overall, I mean, if, if every doctor's doing that, then lots of, too many patients end up on antibiotics. Melrose has bypassed Australia and gone straight to the U.S. to seek initial approval because, he says, it's the largest pharmaceutical regulator in the world. Greg Navarro, CCTV, Sydney. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.